Hello and welcome to a free tutorial by Nicola Dean from The Flock. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to make some needle felted acorns. I am happy for you to make items from this tutorial for personal use or to sell. All I ask is if you share what you have made that you add a note to say that you made it from a free tutorial from The Flock and add a link to The Flock's Facebook group. Please also be aware that the tutorial and its content is protected by copyright and must not be copied or shared without prior permission. Thank you. Let's get started. To make your own acorns you will need your needle felting surface, some foraged acorn cups, some fibres, you will need some acorn coloured fibres in greens and browns. You will also need some white. I am using carded fibre. If you are using tops, please refer to my video on how to card fibre. You will also need your finger protectors if you want to use them. I will not be using finger protectors in this tutorial so that you can clearly see what I am doing, but I advise that you wear yours. Your needle felting needles you will need a shaping needle, I like to use a 38 gauge triangular needle for this, and a finishing needle, I like to use a 42 gauge needle for this. And you will need a hot glue gun or some strong glue. Choose which acorn cup you want to use first as you will need to ensure the acorn you make fits inside it correctly. I am first going to show you how to make a green acorn. To give the acorn a more realistic look, it helps to mix some colours of fibre together. Here I used predominantly green fibre mixed with a small amount of dark brown and light brown which I hand blended. If you are not sure how to blend colours, please watch my video on blending colours and fibres for more information. Once you have mixed your colours, save a small amount of the fibre for later. Then, with the rest, roll it to make a short log shape. Holding it against your needle felting surface, stab this a few times to stop it unravelling. Then you need to stab one end inwards to form the rounded base of the acorn. Then stab the other end to form a tapered rounded tip. Keep stabbing and shaping until the acorn is firming up, then check whether it fits inside the acorn cup. It should be a nice snug fit. If it is too small add more fibre, if it is too big keep stabbing. Once you are happy with the shape and size of your acorn, Swap to your finishing needle and stab all over the surface to refine it. Next we are going to add some detail. Acorns tend to have little points at the top that are lighter in colour and the base of the acorn is also lighter in colour. To add these details, you will need to first take a small piece of white fibre and mix this with a small amount of the acorn coloured fibre you saved earlier. Then 
Then set this aside for a moment. Next, take a tiny wisp of white fibre and roll this in between your fingers to make a little ball. Position the ball over the tip of the acorn and using your finishing needle, stab this in place so that it protrudes from the surface slightly. Next, take a thin piece of the acorn and white mixed fibre and lay this over the top. Stab this all over with your finishing needle, blending it down the acorn. Next, take another thin piece of the acorn and white mixed fibre and lay this around the base and up the sides of the acorn. Stab this all over with your finishing needle, blending it up the acorn. You can also roll the acorn to help felt this further. When you are finished, ensure the acorn still fits inside the acorn cup. For the brown acorns, I used a rust colour and two different browns and hand blended these together. All other steps are the same as the green acorns. Once you have made all of your acorns, you then need to glue them into the cups. I have glued mine using a hot glue gun, but other strong glue will also work, however you will need to leave them to dry. You should now have some lovely finished acorns. These could be used alone as part of an autumnal display or added to larger pieces. To ensure you do not miss future informational videos or tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. You can also come and join the Phlox Needle Felting community on Facebook. There is a link to this in the description. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. As explained at the beginning, I am happy for you to make items from this tutorial for personal use or to sell. All I ask is, if you share what you have made, that you add a note to say that you made it from a free tutorial from the Flock and add a link to the Flock's Facebook group. Please also be aware that the tutorial and its content is protected by copyright and must not be copied or shared without prior permission. Thank you.